wee! Oh my God! You are showing off for me this morning. Why you Go ahead, do that again. Why what that back do, shawty? Milton and Madeline, y'all being bad. DJ, see what all the fuss is about. Milton, come here. Oh, back leg. Good. Oh, oh what? What the? What you doing, boy? What you doing? Mm -hmm. Good morning guys, I am getting ready to work out. But before I work out, I need to zip this. And today we are having, bam! Oh my gosh, peach mango. Absolutely, one of my favorites. Now you guys, I'm actually doing a carnivore reset this week and strict carnivore would dictate that I can't have this because it has sweeteners in it. Not only that, it has sucralose, which first of all, ain't nobody tell them to put sucralose in zip fizz anyway, but I will say this, I did try another electrolyte drink earlier this week that didn't have sucralose, so it was sweetened with stevia, but it was missing the caffeine. I don't know what it is, I think it's the caffeine, but like, my day wasn't the same, my workout wasn't the same, and I just didn't like it, okay? So, even though I am carnivore this week, I've had to have my Zip Fizz. Like, it's a great source of electrolytes, but mostly I think it's the caffeine that gets me through my workout. So, like, of course I can't drink black coffee because, ew, right? Um, but I'll try, next time I will try to find a better substitute, like maybe caffeine pills or something, green tea, I don't know, like something, but this week I didn't have anything on hand and I need my pre-workout, so zip fizz it is. That was a tough one. All right, guys, let's get ready to shake it in three, two, one. <laughs> to a great day, to a great workout, and to all the meats. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Today's upper body day, so I'm working on that. Ooh, it's coming back, I see you. Y'all see this tricep right here? Man, this is the first time in my life I've ever had triceps and I'm obsessed. I can never go back. What I have found builds my triceps more than anything else is tricep push-ups. But here's the dope thing, right? You don't have to like do them on the ground. I can't even do tricep push-ups on the ground on my knees. I still can't do it. So here's what you do. Go to a case of stairs and start with a really high up stair, you know, like right here. And then that's when you can really focus on getting all the way down and pushing back up, right? Because I found that the strength comes in doing the complete movement, right? There's no point in doing a tricep push up on the ground if you can only go down this far before you have to push back up. Like, that's not it, right? So I've been doing them on the stairs, or look, you could do it on a wall. Look, come with me, will you? Here's a wall. You can even, right, do it flat down on a wall. The most important thing is just to make sure that your elbows touch your ribs, right? So keep it in tight and push back up. Keep it in tight and push back up. You'll notice the tricep is working. So it's all about how far down and pushing up you can do. And then so if you just need to start off on a wall and then go to the stairs, and then eventually what you'll find is that you get so strong that you can move to the next stair down. Then you get so strong, you can move to the next stair down. Well, I'm getting my mime on right now, you know what I'm saying? But then eventually you can get to the floor, right? I'm not on the floor, but I'll tell you this, I started off on the fifth step, and now I'm on the floor, okay? And like, I get to, once I can do like 15 tricep push-ups really good, like without breaking a sweat, that's when I move to the next step down. But honestly, I never thought I'd get that far. So like, all I'm saying is start wherever you are and form is the most important, right? Like, I'm pumped. More triceps, please. Thank you.
Okay guys, I am ready to eat. So I exercised, I did upper body, and then I rode my bike for an hour, and then I just got off of the YouTube live, so like I am famished, and I'm starting my carnivore day off with some snacks, of course. So normally we have the cello wisps, as you can see right here. These are my favorites, cheddar cheese, parmesan, but since we're doing carnivore, I'm like doubling up and I'm also having some of my Tillamook Zero Sugar Jerky. Now this is the original. Um, it is the most plain tasting out of all of them, as you would suspect. I really like the teriyaki that I had last week. I do love the, the black pepper kind, although they only have that in the small bag. So I really did want to get larger bags for economical reasons. You know what I'm saying? But this is still delicious. I love it. But something else I've been having is also more cello wisps, right? So at uh, Costco, they have this Asiago in pepper jack, and it's really good. At first, I was like, oh, well, this doesn't taste any different, but then you can really get like the pepper jack, and it's delicious. You can also like see the specks of spices and things like that. So it is like, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like super spicy or mind blowing, but it is a welcome flavor change. Mmm. It just might be super spicy and mind-blowing. Like, mmm, that's really good. I'm going to have all my cheese and meat snacks, and then I will show you what I'm having for carnivore the rest of the day. This is the omelet of death. And one man is going to attempt the impossible hey, to flip the omelet of death. Okay, go for it, sweetheart. Okay, first of all, let me talk about This is just three eggs and a tablespoon of butter mm -hmm. and three pieces of bacon. So there you go. Okay, honey, go for it. Get a good feel. Okay, a good feel. I, I feel what you're feeling. Ugh. Oh my gosh, that was genius! Oh my goodness, like it was so anticlimactic, but in the best way possible. Okay, stand there. Let me put my cheese on. It's all in the wrist. It is all in the wrist. Okay, but but I can tell you, mm -hmm. my problem was, I clearly was trying to toss it too high, like yeah, you because. Know. Yeah, you don't. It's not, a, it's not a movie. You don't have to... It's because not. yours barely left. Yours barely left the pan. Yeah. Like, no, I tossed it and it like did some hang time for a second and plopped back well, down. Remember, it's still raw on the other side. So all the toppings were still loose. That was the problem! <laughs> How did you do that? How did you just like... You're so cute. Only flip the part that... Ah, oh, that was so neat. Okay, see, so now I'm going to take it. Yeah, see. Then you can fold it. Yeah, now it's more... Ah, oh my god! Oh! Gotcha! Let's look at it. It looks amazing. Yes, with all the bacon in there. I was going to ask, I was like, was that bacon in there? Yes, it's bacon. Nice. So, sweetie, you were, ask, you were asking how I like my omelet. Mm -hmm. I actually like the cheese to only be in the center because then it's like a cheese pocket. It's like a hot pocket oh. of cheese. Whereas if it's already mixed, then it, it is incorporated. Exactly. Throughout. I do like there to be a cheese that pocket. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Oh, well, that's why I asked you how you did prefer. ask, and I appreciate like, you asking. On the flavor of because the person. that made me like have to determine, like, hmm, how do I like mm. my omelets? You know, and I realized that I do like for them to be like a cheese gift, a cheese delivery <laughs> mechanism, right? So look at that. Just, ooh, ooh, wait. <laughs> so that is a done omelet right there. And I got three slices of bacon. See, look, I got three in here, three on the plate. There it is. That is picture perfect. That's picture perfect. Okay, guys. Now, what we have here is called a, a Fanga Beauty, okay? This is a three egg omelet and a tablespoon of butter. I have three pieces of bacon in here, and I have about an ounce and a half of cheddar cheese on the inside. And then I have an additional three slices of bacon on the side, but like we already know what bacon tastes like. Let's hop into this omelet. Now, you can see, of course, I've topped it with some hot sauce because. I am me, right? So let's just see what this omelet is tasting like. Oh my gosh, it's so buttery. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. It's so rich and savory because of the butter, because of the egg, because of the cheese. But then there's such a nice salty cut from the bacon and from the hot sauce. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Just gonna eat this, drink me some water, and after a while, it'll be lunchtime. Okay guys, it's lunchtime. I am having burgers and brats. For my carnivore meal, I'm just having one and two thirds brats, if you will, because sometimes you don't have enough ingredients to 
have equal amounts, right? So I had five brats over three days. For all you math majors out there, that's one and two thirds brat a day. So that's what I'm having. Uh, and then I'm having one bacon cheeseburger. I put mustard and hot sauce on here. Those are like my freebie condiments. Like this is carnivore, sue me, right? Okay, so I am having a delicious bratwurst. My husband grilled these a couple of days ago. I just heated them up in the microwave. Oh, look at all that. That's red pepper flake. Mmm. Mmm. Meaty, savory, hearty, delicious. Okay, bacon cheeseburger. I'm just gonna, gonna bite that. Look at that beautiful cheese skirt that happens when the melted cheese starts to crust over on the plate. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is just delicious. Just salty and savory. Mm. Tangy from the mustard, like honestly, legitimately, one of my favorites. Okay guys, one of my favorite new snacks, which also happens to be completely carnivore, you know, uh, is this, I call it a microwave pizza, right? Basically you just put a bed of pepperonis on a plate and then cover it in cheese and I put it in the microwave for two minutes. I use some oregano, huh, to get that pizza mm, aromatics. It's delicious, but the plate is so hot. How do I not make the plate hot? I don't understand. Oh my God, the pepperonis are even hotter. Ah! Okay, look at that cheesy, oh my gosh, and delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's so simple, yet so good. You know what? I will put some hot sauce on this as well. Mmm. Mmm. I am really loving this carnivore challenge. Also, I love pepperonis. Why are you so adorable? Why are you filming me right now? Because you're adorable. No, that doesn't mean... Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how I've been doing dishes. Well, exactly. Okay, so I'm finishing the day with some moon cheese. You know, I have found these little paper cups, I guess, from the dollar store, and they really kind of jazz up my feeling when I'm eating the moon cheese. It's like, oh, am I at a carnival? Is this a sample of something? Like, what's going on, right? So, mm, crunchy, delicious moon cheese. This is going to be the last thing I have today. No diet soda. No anything else, no Powerade, no sweet treat, but who needs a sweet treat when you got moon cheese, right? So I'm just gonna eat this, drink a ton of water. I think all the salty, like heavy food I've had today has really made me drink a lot of water, so that's awesome, but I'm just gonna drink water and we're watching The Resident right now on Fox. It's pretty decent. We are, you know, pretty engaged. So watching some TV, relaxing, and then I'll get to work and I will let you know basically just about the, the water I have for the rest of the day because there's nothing after this. This is it, so. Mm, okay, enjoy. Mm, mm. Okay guys, I am going to bed. As suspected, I ate or drank nothing after that moon cheese. Actually, I drank a ton of water. I, I drank nothing different. I just drank more and more and more of the same, which was water, uh, and that was it. Toward seven or eight, I got a little bored. I was like, I feel like I should be eating something or drinking something, but it was just because I was bored. Like I recognized I was not physically hungry for anything. The taste of anything sweet would not have satisfied me because there was nothing to satisfy. I clearly recognized like, I just need to occupy my mind with something because clearly I'm bored. And I did between work and or television. Like it just goes to show like a lot of the stuff that we do is out of habit and not out of desire and especially not out of requirement, right? So I encourage you, re-examine your habits this week. DJ, stop walking. Try something new, try something different. If you have something every day, you start to depend on it and think you need it, I bet you don't need it. Just cut that thing out of your life and just for a week, give it a try. I've been doing carnivore for this past week and it has been amazing. At least I know I'm capable of doing it and that it's a tool that I have in my tool belt from now on. Okay, everyone, catch you next week. Bye. The plate is so hot. Okay. 242. Hold on, you lined up. Jeez Louise. 242.
Okay, come on, look right in your eyeball. Don't, oh my and God. Live. I can't. I'm gonna look at you with my eyeball. I shouldn't have asked you to do this.